Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty. What's good, Ravens fam? So, I'm listening to uh, The Lounge. You know, the Ravens podcast. They have my man EDC on there, the Godfather. And he brought, they asked him a question about you know, for as the offensive line and things such as that. And he said, well, I'll just let you listen to it. About building a wall around Lamar and the importance of doing that. Well, I mean, some of that actually is just stems from conversations that we've had with Lamar. And, mm. you know, I've had Lamar, I've had conversations with Lamar many times, and I've said, Lamar, what can we do? to help you what is most important to you and honestly the thing that he always comes back to is the offensive line and that's one thing that John feels really strongly about and Greg feels really strongly about and you know I believe as well that you went up front and um, you think of our best teams and some of our best teams we've ever had we've had a strong imposing dominating athletic smart offensive line so mm. that was a point of emphasis I wasn't happy with last year how last year went down uh, I've taken the blame um, for the lack of depth at the tackle spot specifically last year. And uh, I don't want that to happen again. I don't want to be held hostage by injuries. And so that was a game plan for us. How do we best build the offensive line? What kind of traits are we looking for? What kind of players are we looking for? And uh, and that was a point of emphasis. So when he, brought, when he said that, that Lamar, he contacted Lamar, asked him, you know, what he need and everything such as that. And one of the concentrations were offensive line, which we all know. But that showed me two things. It showed me that, one, um, no matter what the other media says, things such as that, that um, EDC really, really, not with just Lamar, really, even with the Hollywood trade, he traded him to the Cardinals, but you know it was obviously a good deal. But he he also traded him to one of his best friends, which was uh, Kyler. So that shows me that he's respect. Even though it was hard for him, he said it multiple times, it was hard for him to you know let go of his first draft pick. But. Back to the Lamar thing. He really cares about um, Lamar's opinion. Um, and he really took that, you know what I'm saying? He took that to heart, which he obviously, he got the best center. Um, and he doubled down on the tackles. And uh, and he, um, he also said that you know, with the injuries last year, he, he do take the blame because, you know, he man up. He took the blame. He 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 learned that he, he got to have that double, you know what I'm saying, that double uh, safety, that backup. He don't want an um, injury to be an excuse. And you even see that he did that with the running back. You see, we got Bidet, um in the last round. Of our draft, we would pick him up because, and that dude, dude looking cold. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, with Gus the Bus and JK coming off an of injury and Justice Hill coming off an of injury, so that was a great pickup. But with that offensive line, he's showing Lamar, you know, um, he cares, he listens, and Lamar didn't bring up what he didn't say, but Lamar has said it in tweets. He believed in his wide receivers. Now, I do, I do believe we're going to pick up a veteran, um, and I believe one of the undrafted, maybe two, um, of the undrafted wide receivers we have um, that signed with us, undrafted free agent wide receivers, we have signed with us. They had possibility they could make the team. Um, but, yeah, that shows to me that, you know, Lamar truly believes in the wide receiver court we have. 
we see him, Bateman, Crochet, Dev, they getting that grind in, you know. So now we just need that vet. Hopefully, hopefully it's Landry. But even if it is uh, Julio, I would be cool with that because I know he, you know, we just really need him for the playoffs. But um, just that mentorship. It's always, that's a lot of unspoken things about that, is that mentorship for it to wide receiver court. But with EDC just boosted up that offensive line and everything, that shows he listens to his players. Because he was a player back in the day in college. So, that's something to think about. I think college or high school. I know he played. But, yeah, that's just something to think about. That's just very respectable. Tell me what y'all think about that.